right here at the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Guys, this is what I was just saying on part one, uh, upgrading my Magnum Energy MS4024 PAE. So this is what I was talking about, the back plate, Magnum Energy back plate. So this is a back plate, you can see the top on that one. This is the one that carry a one inverter, if I can put this one vertical then it's gonna be this way. So I'm trying to improvise and put two magnums there, so it's gonna be horizontal. And the uh, other back plate is gonna attach here to get the box, the uh, Magnum um, Energy MMP 250-30. Um, D. I think that's that 30D. Supposed to attach right here and get the magnum attached. And we can able to put um, our load center here. So I'm just looking at the way the, the holes are designed because they're not designed to go horizontal. But I try to um, see um, how I can able to balance them right. So guys, you can see the the bolt is not gonna accurately sit there, but I can use a, a washer, a stainless a stainless steel washer, to cover this one so I can get a perfect um, heat on that thing on that hole to fit properly. So let's see how the second inverter is gonna sit on this, and tell me what you think. Stay tuned. Live from Minnesota JW Solo USA. Like and subscribe. So these are the holes here that's supposed to mount the second inverter. I was gonna do, but it looks like the holes not gonna be corresponding to the um, the wing or ear of the uh, inverter. So, but it's an easy fix. We can able to just a drill, pre-drill a hole, and get the right beats and get um, the number ten. Oh, it's just a, a five millimeter, this one, to get a hole like that and make a, a thin there. If it doesn't thread in, or you can make it just supposed to make a thread by itself and uh, mount the inverter. So let's check it out. Right now, I'm just going to simulate um, the 12 volt one because all the 24 volt is um, hanging on the board right now. So it seems like because the 12 volt it might be a little bit smaller that's what i suspect and uh before we do that it's not going to correspond right onto those holes let's take a measurement on this side and see how long is this um 24 volt inverter if they are all in the same length so if we set it right here from that point to here it's approximately, let's see, approximately 12 and a half inch long. Okay? 12 and a half inches long if we decide to go this way. So if we decide to mark it from here, I don't know if it's going to be the same. With a 12 volt one, 12 is it's almost the same, but the holes here it's probably is gonna be it's not the same height or the same length. Sorry, let's see. All right, guys, if you look at it closely, you see a hole right here and right there, it's about 11 inches, okay, and um, one side is gonna fit. One of the wing of this is going to fit on the original holes and the other ones probably is going to be pre-drilled. So, I don't know if um, my thoughts or my um, thing I want to do is going to work for me, but um, I can make it work. It's just a, that's a, a metal. I can just use a bit and drill a hole and put a bolt and nut behind it. Or if I want, I can just uh, uh, pre-drill the thing and, and set it up. Stay tuned, let's see. So if I decide to go this route, this is what gonna happen. 
two of the original holes gonna correspond right there and the other side here is not gonna um, correspond to the actual original holes of the uh, device but what I can do I can able to drill right here there are other holes here drill right here the drill bit and put a, a bolt and nut or I can put it here okay because if I put it here it's not gonna affect the um, the uh, the the looks of the uh, invert um, of this panel if I want to use it in the in the near future because the inverter is gonna be sitting here in the middle or the box gonna sit there it's not gonna affect any or do any alteration alteration on the on the here on the wings here so guys tell me what you think and um, I've got a measurement right here you can see um, look at that look what the measurement says right there okay almost to this side here look at it and if I decide to do this eh, it's almost the same so at this level the box can still get in here the box the MMP can able to attach from here hang in there then I'm gonna get the the other back plate is gonna come all the way here and screw all the way down all the way here so this side is gonna be the box for the um, for the uh, it's gonna be the box for the um, the the load center and I can just route wires direct to that box okay on the side of the box they can come right here drop drop these wires here drop them here come this and make a nice um uh like a a gutter like with my gutters i already have that I can just drop them here and direct it go to the box this is going to be another um poor man's way instead of a rich man's way to buy expensive box and do whatever I want to do but you got to play with what you have in hand already have in place so you can able to uh, utilize or be pro proactive or productive and improvise uh, technology the way you want you have to tweak some stuff you don't have to because this is recommended for you this is what you have to do but you can come up with ideas that's the one old thing about uh, the DIY project DIYer, they, everybody knows that you need this box, you need this inverter, you need this uh, breaker box or whatever. But it's not like you're not utilizing your resources. Your resources are your brain, how you can able to turn around, make a one cent to a five cent or a five cent to a quarter. You know, it's business. This is just your ideology, you got to put it to work. And got to improvise. It's a big thing. Improvise. The improvisation of the entire thing that makes you more productive and makes it more efficient. And people like what you do. It's not like I can buy this box and everybody can do that. Just buy the thing and slap it in there. That's it. It looks pretty. But if you come up with your idea how you can work this thing well and people be excited and your viewers are going to say that's an excellent idea. That's a brilliant idea. And that's a good move. So that's what I want to do. It's not all about the, the, the bells and whistle, all the gears. I can able to do that from here. And I can able to take this guy, come all the way, you know, get a turn uh, uh my gutters I already have, they're the gray ones, and drop to the box. The wire goes there. Likewise, this one. It goes to inside the MMP uh, load center. So I don't know what you guys think. Let me know. And um, I can able to do that, but I have to make a, a good decision if I'm going to do this by drilling the hole. Or I see if I can move. You know, there's a lot of ideas, a lot of things you can do. But um, I have to take, uh, I don't use these panels. It's going to be just useless because I already have more than one. So why not do what I want to do? Tell me what you think. Like and subscribe. Bye.
All right, guys, I follow my instincts. I decided to do this. Um, who cares? Uh, it's just a metal, which um, is going to be a holder. If I want to do something in the future, I can able to cock that with something um, uh, something to seal that. But this is what I did. I used my old DeWalt um, drill. And drill, you can see all the little um, stuff there, the metal. And I drill and... Uh, Put the, the bolts right there. So I can anchor this thing. And this thing can stand up. It can sit all the way straight. And who knows. I can take that. <laughs> I can take that route and do it. And uh, I don't know if I messed up. I messed with this one. This uh, back plate. Well, so that be. But um, I want to make sure that things uh, work. And... Um, what I'm going to do now, probably tighten up these guys right here to hold this so I can put it vertical so you guys can able to see it, how it's holding up. But uh, to be honest with you, I think this is uh, the best decision um, I've come up with uh, you know, for my system, you know. Um, a lot of you guys probably disagree with me, but, uh, this is what I want to do. Um, I'll take this route and make, put this panel to work. Uh, instead of, uh, not doing any good for me, I can able to use it on the 12 volt. If I decide to change my mind, it's only, uh, two holes on that thing. And that will be on the bottom. So if I have to use a uh, uh, MMP mini box on it, that will be still fine. You know, it's going to cover. So it's not going to obstruct anything in the future. So let me put this thing up and show you how this guy looks like. All right. Stay tuned, guys. And uh, like and subscribe. Right here at JW Solo USA. This is how we do things. We got to come up with ideas, solution, improvise things and make things to work the way you want. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the clear view. And they're standing up now. Look at that. They sit on the back plate. It's all set up. I end up oh, pushing the magnum, the, the hole in my hand here and push the cover. So I just have to pop this and pull this one back. Kind of bent a little bit here. It's okay. Yep, guys. <laughs> we've done it. So the MMP will just come and latch right here. Sit right here. I don't know if you can see it. It flushes right there. That's the word. It flushes all the way here. And sit all the way to the brim. While this cable is going to be traveling to the MMP box on the side. Let me show you. It will be traveling on this side of the thing and see how this thing is going to fit. Because this magnum, this inverter, the one I was showing you, I was illustrating with the 12 volt one. And with the 24 volt I, I just got. So this guy and the other guy removing the 12 volt and put this one that is a 24 volt. They're all going to sit that way. So this guy is going to sit like the 12 volt that I already do for demonstration in the 24 volt one. And on the side, um, this panel, this guy here, see how I was telling you about it's going to flush all the way. So it flushes all the way and sits exactly here. Look at the leg. Okay. Look at it. So it's going to come up and flushes right away there and sits exactly while the other inverter, this box, the other inverter is going to be sitting, it's going to, the wire is going to shoot right on this uh, conduit, uh, this P, uh, whatever you call them, knockouts. Okay, so I'm trying to stay away from this side. So these guys can already, these guys already have, a, uh, have holes here. I can probably take that and use it, but it doesn't make no difference. This side doesn't have much uh, knockout, so I can, I can able to utilize this side then so 
the holes are already here but i want to stay away from this side the ac side i want to come onto the dc side so i can able to tap onto the uh breaker for the dc inputs so i want it to be here it's easy just to route the wires to come back to the ac side of here okay so the 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 second panel the back panel here so it's going to continue all the way straight down to hold on to hold the um, entire panel itself like the way it is right now vertical this way okay it's gonna stay just like this vertical it's gonna stay like this so i have an extra way um side i can able to put this guy now okay this guy is gonna be i can have enough space to do whatever i want to do so I hope it's gonna make sense when I'm get when I get done. But I already took the uh, the uh, initiative to do what I I, I did, and that means um, there's a turning back. But and this guy, the hood, I have a second one that's gonna go up. This is the one now, and another one again. So everything's just gonna work out right. We hope everything goes well. All right. Okay, guys, um, stay tuned. For more to come, live from this channel with the JW Solar USA, thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Thanks for support and watching my videos. Subscribe and share them to your video feeds or your channels out there. Bye for now.